Once upon a time, there lived a very clever man named Bantu in a village named Rampur. Bantu was so clever that everyone avoided him lest he fool them. But still, he used to fool everyone with his cleverness. There was no one in the entire village who could fool Bantu. One day, when both Shyamlal and Ram Prasad were sitting under a banyan tree, Bantu was passing by. Are you looking at this Bantu? In fact, I have never seen a shrewd man than him in the entire village. Hey, you have mounted him on a gram tree. If he plays trick on me, then I will agree. Hey brother, you are nothing compared to him. Hey, what you know about me? Even big shots like them used to be at my service. Well, if it is so, then fool him and then I will agree. Yes, yes, why not? But if I fool him, you will pay me 50 rupees. Yes, yes, why not? But if instead he fools you, then you will give me 200 rupees instead of 50. Yes, yes, I agree. After that, Ram Prasad goes to his home and starts thinking how to fool Bantu. Just then, Ram Prasad's wife Sheila comes there and speaks to Ram Prasad. Why don't you sell this cow to someone? She no longer gives milk and she's of no use. Why feed it unnecessarily? Yes, yes, you are right. I will sell it tomorrow itself. Yes, but who will buy it? Just keep watching. The next day, Ram Prasad takes his cow Gauri and sits under the banyan tree. Shyamlal is also there. Ram Prasad then starts shouting loudly. If anyone wants a cow, then take it. I am selling it at a low price. Bantu was passing by from there and stops after seeing Ram Prasad. Hey brother, what happened? Why are you selling your beauty? Actually his cow? Hey, you keep quiet. Let me speak. Hey brother Bantu, I am in dire need of money actually. That's why I am selling it. We have such a wonderful cow. What I can say? Hey brother Bantu, she gives so much milk. Okay, by the way, for how much will you give your Gauri? 500 rupees. This is too much. If you will give it for 200 rupees, then tell me. Okay, brother, just give this much. Otherwise, I would never have sold my Gauri. Ram Prasad is very happy to sell his cow to Bantu. And after Bantu's departure, he speaks loudly to Shyamlal. See, I told you that I can fool this Bantu. Look, how I sold a worthless cow for rupees 200, which was not even worth rupees 100. Now say, brother. Yes, brother, I agree with you. Here is 50 rupees as per the condition. Ram Prasad is very happy that day, but when Bantu goes home and tries to milk the cow, the cow does not give even a drop of milk. This Ram Prasad tried to fool me. Okay, it seems like it doesn't know what. Bantu is. Next day, Bantu ties this same cow under the same banyan tree and starts distributing lottery tickets. Buy a lottery ticket for 10 rupees only and whoever wins the lottery will get this cow. Hearing this, two, three people gather there and buy lottery tickets worth 10 rupees each from Bantu. Bantu sells 20 lottery tickets and gets 200 rupees in return. Now the next day, Haria's lottery ticket comes out. Haria becomes very happy. Hey Bantu bhaiya, this is our lottery ticket. Now this cow is ours. Oh yes Haria bhaiya, congratulations. Please take your cow. Haria takes his cow home. But when the cow does not give milk, the next day he comes back to Bantu with the cow and tells him. Hey, this cow doesn't even give milk. It is completely useless cow. I don't want a cow that is of no use. What will I do with it? Hey brother, don't be angry. Take your 10 rupees back. <laughs> yes brother, now let's go. Bantu again stands under the banyan tree with the cow and does the same again. He starts earning 100-200 rupees daily and even the cows come roaming around and come to him. Now, one day, when Bantu was going out to herd the cows with his cow, he met Ram Prasad and Shyamlal on the way. Hey Bantu, what happened? 
Where are you taking it for a ride? I am not taking it for a ride, but to earn money. Money from this cow? How, brother? Yes, brother. This work is very good. I sell tickets worth rupees hundred to two hundred daily and give them to whoever finds the cow. The next day he returns the cow because it does not give milk, and I return his ten rupees to him. Till now I have earned rupees four to five thousand from this cow. Yes, brother. Now I am going to fool the people of other villages. Bantu leaves from there, but after hearing this, Ram Prasad and Shyam Lal's ears perk up. He earned rupees four to five thousand from my cow, worth rupees two hundred. Oh God, this man is unbelievable. I had already told you that there is no one like him in the entire village. Look how he earned money from your non-milking cow and fooled you too. This man is really clever. You are right, Shamlal. I agree, brother. There is no one in the world as good as him. Then, according to the condition, now give me the entire two hundred rupees and my fifty rupees too. Ram Prasad takes out money from his pocket and gives it to Shyamlal. Both his cow and money go away, and Bantu keeps fooling everyone due to his naughty nature.